in this session we'll be discussing about the various uses of the macrolates and which are we'll be discussing only those points which are important for the exam point of view so here the uses of macrolates now the macrolates are the drug of choice for cancroid caused by hemophilus cucreae corny bacterium and compylobacteria so these drugs are also effective against legionella infection and are useful in the atypical pneumonia and whooping cough so to remember all these uses of this uh, mac macrolates will be having a meritomonic known as the cla c l a w c here stand for the cancroid caused by hemophilus ducreae corny bacterium and campylobacter and it is the drug of choice for these disease this cancroid it is the drug of choice then we for l we have the legionella infection a stands for the atypical pneumonia and w stands for the whooping cough by bordetella pertussis so these are the uses of this uh, macrolates the macrolates like clarithromycin and azithromycin are used in uh, disease like community acquired pneumonia as well as they are used in the diphtheria cases also so if we discuss about the use of these macrolates in dentistry then they can be used as an alternative to penicillin when they can be used when there is a uh, cross reactivity to the penicillin when there is uh, adverse effects of the penicillins are more then you can think of the alternative that is the macrolates so if some patient is having penicillin induced allergy you won't be giving that and you will be shifting to the macrolates again if you don't know about the uh, allergic condition if patient is not giving you any history of the allergies still the patient says yes he is allergic to some medicine but he is not knowing so erythromycin drug can be considered as one of the safe drug to be given in the such condition because of less propensity to uh, allergy which are generally caused by the penicillin related drugs so macrolates are used an alternative to penicillin to treat the orodental infection they can be used as prophylaxis also as well as for the treatment also for the gingivitis periodontitis abscesses whether it is orodental as abscess and post extraction infections can also be treated by macrolates now azithromycin and clarithromycin as i have already explained that they can be used in cap that is community acquired pneumonia and they can also be used for treating the drug disease like diphtheria let's discuss some questions on the uh, uses of macrolates so here the question is azithromycin which is a macrolate can be used for treating all except so it's asking which of the following condition can't be treated with azithromycin as we know azithromycin is a long acting drug long acting macrolate and only single dose per day is enough for the azithromycin we also know the uses of the azithromycin the azithromycin and clarithromycin can be used for the community acquired pneumonia yes they can also be used in diphtheria yes as well as their use is also there for the prophylaxis and for the treatment of the dental conditions like orodental infection also so all these three condition can be treated by azithromycin hence none of the above is the correct exception to the use of azithromycin so answer to the fourth question will be the four that is none of the above please like share and comment on this video also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notification thank you